Hello everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Sunhaven. We finally completed the giant squid quest, so no more ink on the farm for us. Good morning, Lantern Spirit. Hello, Bloom. Pebbles, oh, finally not hiding. Weedy. And Hermie. All right, let's get our watering can topped up so we can get these crops all nice and watered. And we had a little bit of harvesting that we needed to do. Oh, wonderful. What is in the mail? Dear Pip, I don't usually send mail outside of Nalvari, but I simply had to show you this remarkable basket of blueberries I picked. I managed to get the tree to replenish in only a single hour. P.S. You're allowed to eat it. Please enjoy my work. Iris. Wow, she gave us 10 blueberries. That is pretty kind of her. Now, did we need to water these? We did. Okay, let's get those watered up. And I think these are all repeat crops. Okay, this is the one where we got everything getting stored. Oh, wonderful. Get our cotton up here. So it will transfer over. That is always helpful. And let's put our honey over here. I'm pretty sure it is also in another chest. And I think we have a couple donations that we need to do. So let's get those summer specific fish here. Uh, we just want one. And I never remember how to grab just one with the controller. <laughs> Other than backing right out. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to complete the cheese quest despite our best efforts. By the end of the day, we had accomplished our goal, so <laughs> we probably would have been better off just sticking with our squid quest and we probably would have had enough money in the end. <laughs> but you know, live and learn, we know for next time. <laughs> Oh, I think we're a little too early for the museum, so why don't we go check out the quest board for the day? I think we still have quite a few quests that we need to wrap up. I think today is the last day for that moon sight potion. A diamond, oh goodness. Okay, diamond, moon sight potion, and raspberries. A witchy recipe, two leafies leaves. Okay, we can do that, that's pretty easy and a water crystal well that those would have been nice quests to have yesterday <laughs> as we were like scouraging scouring the town for money <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> me and words today <laughs> all right pinto are you over here you are Oh, thank you, Pip. I really needed this. My head is killing me. Here, take this as a thank you. Oh, no worries, Pinto. I know what you are talking about. I've experienced it myself. Major Hera. Nathaniel seems to have everything in working order. I'd expect nothing less from a military captain of the great army, especially my own son. Oh, that's Nathaniel's mother. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if she's new. I don't ever recall seeing her in Sunhaven before. All right, can we get into that museum and get these fish donated? Now we do still have our poll going for the floor tiles that we are going to use on our Sunhaven farm. If you have not had a chance to participate in that, please make sure that you do. Uh, it'll probably be a couple of episodes down the road before we tackle that. I want to give you all enough time to be able to participate and get your say in. Oh, we did catch that starfish too. We must be keeping that in a different chest. We'll keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, and then we'll start putting down some floor tiles in Sunhaven and see how that goes. Okay, we don't need to do the bomb fish, so we are officially okay to sell that one. Wonderful, and here we have a new artifact here. Awesome, so we only need two more. 
Wow, look at us getting these bundles taken care of. It's fantastic. We had no new crops, so that's good. And I believe we had crafted ourselves some adamant keys so we can get back into the Nalvari mines. So we can get more stone in order to craft some enchanted bars. We've been so sidetracked the last couple of days, it's hard to remember what we had been doing <laughs> before everything had kind of gone a bit awry there. Okay, what do we got going on here? Bombfish, we were going to sell that, and then we can probably put our crystals back in our chest. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be needing those. And... We did pick up quite a few little enemy drops. Here are the leafy leaves. We already have those. So Catherine will be happy with that. What else had we picked up? I already, <laughs> already forgot. We're looking for a diamond and some raspberries. So do we have a diamond in here? Uh-oh. We have a bunch of black diamonds, but not actual diamonds. Okay. Hmm. We might have to spend some time in the mines. Catherine, uh, oh, looks like you're down here. These will do nicely. Thank you, Pip. Here, go on and take this for your help. I really appreciate it. No problem. And yep, I think we'll just keep on grabbing some money for the next little bit until we have a nice little safety net for us. <laughs> That should make our lives a little easier. Raspberries, let's go grab those. We did need them for a quest. Oh, and a berry. Oh, we seem to need the blueberries for Nalvari. Whole bunch of raspberries, that'll be perfect. I am really banking on there being the upturned turtle down here that will give us a diamond. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Turtle, I love you. <laughs> you are the best turtle ever. There we go. Diamond, just like that. <laughs> that turtle is our hero, everyone. A round of applause for the turtle. <laughs> oh, saved our bacon on that quest, I think. Okay, now who did we need to turn in that quest to? Let's see. Whoop, our map's all over the place here. Uh, right in front of the museum, it looks like. Oh, the map just decided to glitch out. That's funny. That's okay. We know where we are going. Whoop. <laughs> As we almost skip hop or air skip into everyone. All right, Judith. Well, look at that. A gorgeous diamond this will add some long overdue charm to my living space very much appreciated pip here's your payment okay more money in our pocket thank you oh that turtle was such a huge help <laughs> don't know what we would have done okay so back to nalvari we definitely need to hunt down opal i believe it is that gives us that moon sight potion and hopefully we'll be able to get that quest taken care of. <laughs> All right, Bombfish, we are going to ship you. And hopefully you'll just stay over there like a good little fish. And, oh, we don't have enough room for all of these crystals anymore. Let's take the iron bars with us to Nalvari. We do need to use those if we want to make some in an enchanted iron pickaxe. Oh my goodness, I'm already forgetting what these things are called. <laughs> oh, so many different items in this game. Do we have raspberries in here? Perfect. Let's get that quest all completed as well. And we were going to put these back over there. Okay, now, who was requiring all of the raspberries? Okay, that is a Sunhaven quest. Let's go. 
I think we walked right past her as we uh, <laughs> were around the museum area, so maybe she'll be back over there. Hard to say. We can always check the map once we get over here. Okay, where did she go to? Oh, looks like she's in Town Hall. I don't know why, but my map is very much enjoying veering over to the right there. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It'll probably fix once I shut the game off and turn it back on. Oh, you brought me raspberries. Thank you so much, Pip. My wings can be perfect again now. Here, take this. You deserve it. No problem. We'll take a little bit of extra cash in our pocket. Thank you very much. Okay, we've definitely put a nice dent in all of those quests that we had backed up. <laughs> The fact that we have only failed one of them, I have to say I am quite amazed. <laughs> Whew. Dun, dun. Oh, Emma, my toy! Farmer saves the day! Thank you, thank you! No problem. It is absolutely devastating to lose your favorite toy, so we wouldn't want her to experience that for very long. All right, you guys be safe and take care of the farm. We are off to Nalvari for a little bit. All right, here we go, off to the farm. And time to check on our wonderful little farm animals here. I like how the barn just so nicely blends in with the surroundings of Nalvari. Oops, stuck on a barrel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, their heart is getting so much more full. I like it. I like seeing the hearts increase. That is just such a cute little thing. They're feeling the love. Okay, get that dropped off. Hopefully Opal is going to be easy for us to find. That would be very nice. Just transfer everything over that we can. Let's maybe even leave our iron bars here. Okay, it is time to get that stone. After we find Opal, of course. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna forget to do this quest. <laughs> oh. It's all good, we can focus. Opal, Opal, where might you be? Is she over here? No. I'm pretty sure she's going to be in Nalvari. It's just a matter of where in Nalvari. Oh, maybe we should check the little general store here. Could she be in here? Nope. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like those flower windows. You know what? Let's grab those. I think our house could use some more windows in it. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, that was Wesley. There's Iris. Gulp. <laughs> okay, that'll be another fishing... I wonder if we take the fishing quest, if it would make illusionary tonic. Okay. Take the quest. Maybe that would make Opal a little easier for us to find because then she should have like a question mark above her head. Okay. We know who we are looking for. It's just a matter of where she's hiding. <laughs> maybe she'll be up here with Luke today and we'll just get lucky. Luke, where is Opal? Come on. She has been hiding on us for days. Will she be over here? Dun, 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 dun. No. There's the old man again. Oh 
my goodness. Map. Okay, there's one quest inside the great tree there. I think Opal has just vanished on us. <laughs> okay, let's go check inside the tree. <laughs> we might have to catch the fish so she'll show up, but I think by then it'll be a little too late. Or did we have one of those fish in our chest? Because that would definitely help us out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, no. Okay. Taking the long way up, could she be in this little area? Nope. Oh, that's the main quest that we're looking at. Okay. We don't actually want to do that. We need to take care of some of these other little quests first before we start advancing farther. Oh dear. Oh. Well, that's kind of interesting. I can't interact with that chest at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm like, we may have hit a problem here. <laughs> well, for those of you that didn't know, there is a chest down there that you can't open. <laughs> well, that was kind of interesting. Okay, yeah, Opal is definitely hiding on us. I am not sure where she usually hangs out. I know we've seen her, ah, ha, ha, freeze. I see Jared has asked you to retrieve the Moonsight Potion. I fear an elixir of this potency is wasted on the likes of him. So proud. Well, you should take the Moonsight Potion before it gets too late. Here you are. Opal, you are so difficult to find. My goodness, I'm glad we ran into her. <laughs> Whew. There we go. So this is the elixir. It doesn't look so special. But I guess I'll find out. Here you go, for your help. Oh, oh, we could get cash for that? That definitely would have helped with our cheese quest. <laughs> oh, well, live and learn, I suppose. Oh, see, there, that is where I've been expecting to find her all this time. <laughs> Later in the day, I guess. All right, we do still have another quest where we needed to talk to, what was it, Lucius, I believe. Is he down here? He'll probably show up there later. He likes it when the moon is out. So, let's see if we can find our way into <laughs> the mines. Oh my goodness, sometimes Nilvari seems like a bit of a maze when I'm not really focused on what's going on. Dun, dun, dun. Time to collect ourselves some more stone. Let's see how much we can grab in the little bit of time we have left in the day. Wesley, tell Wilt only key people allowed inside. Do you have a key? We have a key. Hmm, key good. You key person, go on. Ooh, the honey floors. Okay, I think this is the last area that we have not yet seen. So that's pretty cool. We've gotten to see a little bit of all of them. Okay, we're definitely going to want to start using our spell here. Let's see if we can get nice and centered <laughs> as we get stuck on every rock possible. Too funny. Woo. Okay, that's good. There we go, a little extra damage, and hopefully that will make collecting the stones so much easier. The honeycombs look so neat. I have to say, this is another cool floor. Like, look at the beeswax candles there. I love the splash damage. <laughs> this is fantastic. Wow, it's just such beautiful artwork. Like, just 
thinking that someone had to come up with this and design it and all the little details like look at the flames flickering it's just so neat like very well done the creative process is just like so fascinating because when you think about all the ideas that literally come from nothing like just a person's imagination you really are only limited by what you are allowing yourself to think of Oh yes, this splash damage is so good. I am so glad that these rocks do not regenerate like the big ones do. <laughs> what a relief. So we're going to get some more shards. And it did look like we could exchange mana shards for elven ore. Because we do need to be able to craft some elven bars it looked like. Because those could get us some special armor. Not just that, but we do need an elven bar for our museum. I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be a mine in that new town that is coming with the 1.4 update for Sunhaven. That'll be kind of cool to find out. Will it have the farm and the mine like the other towns in Sunhaven have? Or is it going to be something entirely different? I think it is going to be so much fun to explore it. And at the moment, there's still no release date for when we can expect to see that. But just knowing that it is in the works and it is coming out eventually, so much excitement just right there and then. Oh my. Look at that. They even have the bugs all caught in what would you call it like the amber or just trapped in the honey so neat i even like the style that they have on the floor like i think that's pretty cool you can see the bugs kind of just stuck inside there I don't know. I'm really not sure what my favorite mine floor is. Like the one with the fairies was pretty cute, but there was the other one where the stones looked like flowers and stuff. And I really enjoyed that one too. I think my least favorite one is that uh, kind of old library looking one. I think that is probably the least favorite. That one seemed a little plain Jane to com compared to all of the other floors that we've been to. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, <laughs> that splash damage, I tell you, it startles me when it happens. <laughs> you're just kind of like going along and then all of a sudden it happens and you're just not quite ready for it. <laughs> and then we will have to make sure that we get home soon enough so we can put up our windows inside our home. I think those are going to look really cool. So I'm excited to see how those go up and how they look inside our house. If you do have any favorite Nalvari furniture decorations, let me know. It'll be fun to decorate our Nalvari home. It definitely has a lot of space considering it has those, what is it, like almost two floors? <laughs> a lot of staircases in that house at the very least. Oh, more dragon scales for us. sharp dragon scales now was it some of the dragon scales that we still needed for our museum donation or was it the mana shards i can't quite remember but we did need a little bit of something there i have made a mental note that it's not a fully completed bundle and that <laughs> there was more that we need to donate because just looking at it it looks like it's done but it's not Look at all that stone. That is definitely going to help us with our crafting venture. Oh, this is so neat. And again, we're just using our adamant keys right now. So these floors are most likely smaller, like some of the smaller versions of the floors that we can get down to. So it'll be kind of neat to see if we can get a sunite key or a mithril key and just get to see how big these floors can actually get. 
because the key size does help determine how big the floor is. Now this one definitely looks quite a bit bigger than the last vine floor we were in. There definitely seems to be more space, more rocks to break down, so maybe we got extra lucky with our key today. We definitely won't be able to clear all of this up before the day is done. <laughs> But we will do our very best to get what we can. I think at 10 p.m. we are going to have to make our way back to the farm. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. Oh, we can fit through there. Perfect. Let's just try to quickly break all of this as good as we can here. Woo! <laughs> that splash damage is so handy. Like, combine that with that spell definitely makes breaking these rocks so much faster and again we're just using our adamant pickaxe so if we do some of the some of the enchanted tools and come in here it should go even faster so if we had an enchanted tool perhaps we even would have been able to clear out this floor no problem it's hard to say da, da, da. I just like watching that honey flow out of the pipe there so cool and the little beehives Now this is my problem. Once I get into the splash damage and I see that I've impacted some of the stones around it, I kind of have that little bit of a drive that I'm like, okay, I've already damaged it. I just need to keep going until it is completely broke. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like I'm walking away from a partial job there. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. It should get us a few more extra stone. We're running out of time. So let's just quickly take a peek around the floor here. Wow. We definitely want to be able to enjoy all of the sites that this place has to offer. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. We are getting close to the end of our day. So let's be mindful of that here. What does it look like over here? quickly try to break some of these up so we can get over there <laughs> oh wonderful oh and it looks like there's a little lake over here of I don't know what you would call that just honey <laughs> uh, can we get a whole bunch of stone here awesome that's what we like to see oh another big one there okay uh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about it's just like oh that's that one's difficult to get. We should uh, just finish it off. <laughs> okay, there's our exit. Let's take a quick little peek down here. We may end up passing out, but it's going to be worth it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I wish we could have spent more time here. Hopefully we'll get to see this floor again as we spend more time in the Nalvari mines. Like absolutely beautifully done. Okay, time to scurry home. Good thing we still have some mana. <laughs> we can air skip all the way home. We are going to need to at this point. <laughs> but we did get quite a bit of stone and it's just so nice. Like you would think it's gonna be a really grindy process getting all of the stone that we need for all of our crafting. But the fact that they have done such a good job of making the Nalvari mines so beautiful to be inside of, I really don't mind spending as much time in there breaking rocks. It's almost a little therapeutic, you know? <laughs> you go in and you're just going along, breaking all the stone, and you see the space all nice and cleared at the end, and you have all the beautiful sights. It feels good. Okay, now where should we place our windows? Okay, we already have windows there and one up here. So maybe we'll see if we can put them down here. Okay, let's try right there. Oh, those look pretty cool. I like that. That's beautiful. All right, everyone. I think that brings our day in Sunhaven to a close. I always have to pause now just to see if there's going to be a little event. <laughs> all right. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I love having you all follow along on our adventures and I will see you next time.